Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Born in Herbolschen, Baden-Baden, Germany in 1842, August Dorley arrived in July of 1863 to Natchez during the Union occupation. He had emigrated to this country at the urging of his mentor, Joseph Bruner, and cousin Ignatz Frasley, a master craftsman and cabinet maker, both of whom had successfully settled here. Unable to find work, Dorley enlisted in the United States 1st Cavalry Regiment and saw action in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. On April the 11th, 1865, two days after Lee's surrender at Appomattox, Dorley captured a Confederate battle flag during a skirmish at Mount Pleasant, Alabama. For his heroic deed, Dorley was awarded the Medal of Honor. Unfortunately, upon his return to Natchez, Dorley was dismayed to learn that his medal awarded him no special privileges or honor since his friends thought he fought for the wrong army. Sadly, he died almost penniless on this day, October 17, 1867. His cousin, Ignatz Frasley, paid for his funeral and tombstone, which had Dorley's names, birth and death dates, and the words erected by his cousin, Ignatz Frasley, prominently placed on the headstone. Today, visitors to the Catholic Hill section of the Natchez City Cemetery can view both the original marker and one erected later by the Daughters of the American Revolution. August Dorley is the only Medal of Honor recipient buried in the Natchez City Cemetery. I am Betty Lou Hicks, a lifelong resident of Natchez and chairman of Natchez Pilgrimage Tours Guides. Joseph Bruner, August Dorley's mentor, was my husband Johnny's great-great-grandfather. And this has been your Natchez History Minute.